Hello everyone. I was going to make this video when I was a little bit more relevant to the scene, but I don't have that kind of time, so I'm just going to do it now. This video is in defense of my friend Tommy's video where she so courageously took time out of her day, her busy day, to help the weak men of our society. I consider myself a teacher, a helper, um, someone who could possibly inspire people to be better. So with that being said, this is a PSA for all the men out there and all the boys who think they're men, but they're actually boys. I thought it was nothing but delightful to watch those kind of truth bombs being delivered by her, but apparently all the boys didn't like it. Tommy is getting some flack for her wonderful and courageous video, so I just wanted to make this video to help her and to help you. I'm in that same awesome friend group that Tommy is. All of my friends are attractive. All of my friends are successful. All of my friends have something going on. Almost every single one of them have an issue with men. So I'm going to help you change some thinking so you can be the kind of man that can get with me or one of my really awesome and pretty friends. Almost every single one of them have an issue with men. So it seems pretty unfair to me that all of my pretty and amazing friends are having such a hard time finding a great guy. Almost every single one of them have an issue with men. We're all having issues, which I don't understand. You have to start looking at that and thinking, if an age range of that many people, including myself, living really all over the country and being blonde, brunette, short hair, long hair, I mean, tan, super white, super pale, I mean, these women range in every body type and every everything. Almost every single one of them have an issue with men. They're all successful, they're all intelligent, they're all good people. But if all of these women, including myself, are having issues, then I have to think, it might not be us. It might be you, it might be men, it might be men. Because I see married couples out in the world, a lot of them look happy. So why are these women married, but not me and my really pretty and amazing friends? The only thing I can think is these women settled. These women are stupid, they have low self-esteem, they're stupid. The kind of girl who's just kind of happy, going through the motions of life, not really super ambitious. They're not like me and my friends who are amazing and ambitious and pretty. People like me and my friends who have something going on. I think a lot of these married women seem like pushovers. I hear some women get married and then, oh, I can hardly say it without throwing up a little in my mouth. Bah. Some women try to like anticipate their husband's needs and they show respect for their husband. And here's why I'm so against that. Their husbands don't deserve respect. This is how I know. If there was a man worthy of respect, he would have chosen me or any one of my amazing and pretty and ambitious, successful, strong friends. Not some idiot low life woman who's gonna show respect for them. Sorry. <laughs> you asked, we're telling you. I talked to my mom about this a lot and she says, well, maybe it's just the guys in Texas. Maybe it's just the guys in Los Angeles. It is not just the guys in Los Angeles, Nashville, Dallas, and it's not, they're not any better in the Midwest. They, quite frankly, I think they're trash all over this country. I've been thinking about this a lot lately too, and I talked to my mom about it, and she suggested that maybe it's the men who I'm attracting. Maybe it's the men I'm choosing. I love my mom, but she is so out of touch. It's not me, mom. Men are trash everywhere in this country. Tommy said that we don't want you to just text us. We want you to take us out to dinner. We want to see you. We want to go on a hike. We want to have coffee with you. Make plans with us. This has been a five year problem that I've experienced with men and my friends have experienced with men. Women do not want a pen pal. We don't want a texting pal. We quite frankly don't care if you text us all day or if you don't text us at all. If you're not going to make a plan to actually see us in person, not interested. Make plans. Make a plan. So she was right to tell you that, but she didn't tell you why. So I'm gonna tell you why. You have to initiate the plans, because we will not. We will not lower ourselves to ask you to hang out. We will not ask you out to dinner. We will not recommend going on a hike. We won't bring up wanting to see you in real life. That's your job. Just make the plans with us and you'll see how fun and amazing we are. Believe me, you want to spend time with us, me, or like my friends who are pretty and amazing.
will rock your world. Now, when you make plans, it can't be soon. If you're going to make plans with us, it has to be like 12 to 24 to two weeks ahead in advance. Do not assume that you can text somebody randomly in the middle of the day, what are you doing? Or even just within hours of when you actually want to see them and think that they're going to be available. So if you didn't make a plan earlier in the day or better yet, a day or two or three in advance, I'm not interested. A woman like me and my friends, who are the women you really want to be with, almost every single one of them have an issue with men. We're not spontaneous. Got it? If that's what you want, find them. Please, for the love of God, do not mix us in with them. We probably already have plans most of the time anyway, so you have to give us time and we'll pencil you in. And if you're good enough to like date you or if you're lucky enough for us to marry you, I don't want you to think that you're going to magically become a priority to us. We are beautiful and successful and ambitious and we don't have much time for you. And if you want that sort of stupid woman who would make you a priority over themselves, their businesses or their jobs or their friends, well then find another woman. Frankly, it's insulting to me and my friends that that's something you would even expect from us. It's so lowbrow. If you want to mix in, People like me and people like my friends who are go-getters, who work really hard, who make their own money, who are talented, skilled, ambitious. Please don't mix us in with the Tatianas. We don't want to be there. For high caliber women that want a high caliber man, we will always have something going on that is more important than you. Got it? If you can't handle that, then you are missing out on me or my friends. People like me and my friends and you'll be absolutely miserable when you find a loser of a woman who will make you a priority. Why? Because a real woman doesn't make losers like you a priority. If that's what you want, find them. Please, for the love of God, do not mix us in with them because we don't want to be there. So if you want to be truly happy and date someone like me or my friends, there you go. And if you don't follow our suggestions, good luck with the loser that you're going to end up who treats you with respect and makes you priority. We're here for you. We love you. We're really amazing. But you know that. <laughs> All of my friends are attractive. All of my friends are successful. All of my friends have something going on. Almost every single one of them have an issue with men. They're all successful, they're all intelligent, they're all good people. People like me and people like my friends who are go-getters, who work really hard, who make their own money, who are talented, skilled, ambitious. There's a lot of women out there that I know that are my good friends who have amazing jobs, who work really hard, but who can't seem to find a decent guy. People like me and my friends can't seem to find a decent guy. Now, from my own personal experiences and the experiences of all of my friends who can't seem to find a decent guy, frankly, I think they're trash all over this country. A lot of men are trash. People like me and my friends can't seem to find a decent guy. I am going to help you. Frankly, I think they're trash all over this country. A lot of men are trash. I am going to help you. People like me and my friends can't seem to find a decent guy. Almost every single one of them have an issue with men. I am going to help you. A lot of men are trash.